hey guys welcome back to my channel this past week i took a trip to beacon new york for about three days and it was the most fun i've ever had i took so many pictures i took so many videos and i can't wait to share every single thing with you guys so let's get right into it So the day before my trip, I started to do some packing and prep. In the morning, I started with some skincare. I did my normal four or five step routine before moving on to breakfast. For breakfast, I just had a simple smoothie with my protein, my fiber supplements, some strawberry mixture, and bananas. I didn't really do much throughout the day, but towards the evening is when I started packing. I definitely packed way more than I needed to, but I guess I learned my lesson with this trip. I definitely wanted to make sure I brought all my skincare essentials since my skin gets very dry in the heat and up there it was pretty hot. I also wanted to make sure I brought all my jewelry to keep myself looking nice and I had this really special ring that I got from a shop near my job as well as some beautiful necklaces that I got from friends and ones that I bought myself also. I also decided to bring a couple of things to keep me busy on the trip for the train ride as well as times that we were in the Airbnb. The next morning was the morning of the trip and I was so, so excited. I did the front of my hair because it was starting to look kind of crazy and then I went to get ready. I recently got these new New Balances and they are so cute, I decided to bring them on the trip with me. It ended up being a really good idea because these shoes were so comfy once I broke them in and they were perfect for the long walks that we took on Main Street and they went with every outfit that I had planned. By about 11.30, I was ready to go and I made my way to the subway. I took the L train to 14th Street Union Square to catch the 6th train to Grand Central. This was only my second time being at Grand Central and it was so beautiful and very, very big. I actually got lost a little bit. I met up with my friend Kyle, who was coming on the trip with me, and we made our way to the Metro North train. The train was pretty empty at this time and quiet, so Kyle decided to do some work while I watched the show on my iPad, and the views from the train once we got above ground were absolutely stunning. About an hour and a half later, we arrived at Beacon. After a really short drive, we made it back to the Airbnb to drop off our bags before exploring the surrounding area. We had a couple of hours before check-in, so we decided to get something to eat. We started off with some drinks, and of course Kyle was a little upset because his apple juice was warm. But other than that, we had a really good experience at this place. The atmosphere was very welcoming, the staff was very kind, and the food was just as amazing. Kyle started off with some Oreo pancakes, and I just had chicken tenders and french fries.
On the way back to the Airbnb, we could easily tell there would be so many fun things to do here. We were so excited to check out all of the cool things this town had to offer. The next morning, we both took some time to get ready so we could get an early breakfast before we explore Main Street. This restaurant ended up being our favorite place to dine during our time here. We started off with a bread and butter board that featured two different kinds of butter. We really enjoyed the first butter, but the second one, not so much. After that, I got this delicious and beautiful looking French toast, but the star of the show was Kyle's smoked brisket. It was quite literally one of the best things I've ever had. We took the rest to go before stopping at Key Food to get a couple bottles of water before our long day on Main Street.
We have an online shop. Too. After a long day of shopping, I changed into something a little more comfy before we set out for dinner. We decided to take a different route so we could get a look at the creek, and we even found an abandoned house along the way. For dinner, we went to Cooper's Beacon. We started off with some drinks and some really good tater tots that honestly were probably the best thing we had here. For our main dishes, Kyle ordered a fried chicken sandwich while I got a grilled chicken sandwich. For the most part, our food was okay, but we ended up switching pretty early because we liked each other's sandwiches more. For dessert, we got some beignets to go. Neither of us had ever had beignets before, but they were pretty good. The next morning, we got ready to get some breakfast before checkout at 12 p.m. I quickly noticed that my shirt had gotten dirty, so I changed into an extra one that Kyle had brought. We ended up coming right back to Beacon Bread Company this morning because it was so good the day before. This time we both ordered the smoked brisket and I got post eggs on the side. I also got a yogurt parfait which was really good but Kyle didn't like it as much. Here I am trying the poached eggs and you can see the panic on my face when I take the first bite. Absolutely not. 
don't want that. Oh, why? What happened? I don't like that. Besides that, our food was really good. A little while later, I noticed that they had given me scrambled eggs anyways. I enjoyed these eggs much more. All in all, this was definitely our top favorite place, and Kyle even started crying because of how good the food was. After breakfast, we stopped by this donut shop called Glazed Over where they sell these mini donuts that you can customize yourself. You get a menu where you can pick through an array of glazes, toppings, and drizzles. This day was very bittersweet, and we definitely did not yeah. want to leave Beacon so soon. <laughs> Say bye to the creek. Checkout was a couple of hours before our train ride home, so we waited at this cafe and got some coffees to go. An hour and a half later, we were in a lift on the way to Metro North Beacon. Ready? This trip was definitely the most fun either of us have had in a while. 
I want to thank you guys so much for watching and comment what was your favorite part of the vlog. Bye!